Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to put up a six-person lighted spear tent that's put out by Ozark Trail. Cost me $110. Had it shipped from Walmart.com. And when I first got it, I thought, this is going to be nice. It's going to have a light on the top of it. It's going to be a pretty cool tent. Going to the campground this weekend. And I'm going to have the best tent there is. So here's the tent unboxed. Laid out. The center part there is supposed to be the dome. Here's where the door is supposed to be. And it comes with three sets of poles. All color coded. You have your orange. Five orange. You have five gray. And you have ten black. It does have instructions made onto the bag. It lays out in a circle, not a square. So before one of you mullet headed, fifth graded, education educated trailer park boys get all upset. It ain't a square. No, it's a circle. That's why they call it a spear tent. Should have took seventh grade math. Anyway, don't panic. I'm gonna show you how to do this. You don't even have to be smarter than a fifth grader. You don't have to be one of those guys that take your girl out camping and she has to put the tent up for you. That would be embarrassing. Or if you put your tent up and it looks like this. I'm going to show you. Check this out. You don't want to be that guy. <laughs> no. You want to go out there and look like you know what you're doing. So that's why I'm making this video. It's for you guys or gals that want to put up a tent and not look like a fool when you get to the campground. I suggest you do it at home first. Watch this video. I'll show you step by step how to do it. And then after you've done it once, I promise you, you could do it again and again. One of the first things you want to do with this spear tent, is I'm going to show you something. Right here at the top part, in the middle of the tent, you have these. And this is where your um, fiberglass um, poles go into. All right, now this is the one in the center. And as you can see, we got a few around here. I would go ahead and stretch these out. Uh, there's one there. One there. One there. one and then the last one and once you get these stretched out in a circle pattern you kind of see what's going on here all right you got one in the middle and then you got five around the edges one two three four five now that we've got them spread out that does make the task a little easier and putting in the gray and orange rods now i'm gonna get my beautiful wife here to hold the camera while I show you guys how to do this. Here you go, baby. Everybody on there like, let me see your beautiful wife. Now she probably hit me in the head with a hammer because she just got up while ago. She's outside, ain't even brushed her hair yet. You can do that in the south. <laughs> All right, the first thing we're gonna do, according to the instructions, is unfold tent. We've already done that. We've done explained that. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to get the gray root poles. Insert gray root poles through the gray sleeves. Then insert each of into a roof hub at the center of the tent. 
Hey, kitty. Kitty cats love tents. Just don't let them inside. It'll leak. All right, so we're going to get the gray poles first, and then we're going to go to the center of the tent. That's why I had you fold it out like this, so all this is easy to see. You have your gray sleeve right here. You want to insert the post into the gray sleeve. And then, insert the post into the center hub. I'm going to put all five of them in, all the way around. Making sure they don't lock, they just slide in. One into the center of it. I can see some guy out there right now with a mullet. I don't need to watch this video, I can do it on my own. Then his girlfriend has to do it for him. Not trying to offend people with mullets. Kind of jealous. Wish I could have had one. All right. So there we go. We got the first part. Let's show the post into the center of. All right. And then we're going to go back around. And remember, I had told you to take these hubs and spread them out because you're going to want to take that gray post and put it into a side hub. That one slid out, but like I said, they don't lock. They just sit in there and tension holds them into place. Be honest when I first unboxed this I had a little bit of a little bit of anxiety <laughs> there you go. and as you go around they'll get tighter all right so you want to bend your last one up a little bit to put it in there now you see you have a dome. That's how you get your dome. Alright. The third step is to get your orange poles and slide them through the orange sleeves. And you're going to go from side hub to side hub. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these out. One, two, three, four. And five. Five your orange sleeve. I really like how Ozark Trail had the customer in mind when they color scheme these things. That way it's easier to do. Plug it into your side hub right here. And then plug it into the other side right here. And repeat that process all the way around. so easy a caveman could do it. Although he wouldn't do it because he has a cave. You don't need a tent. I'm just saying.
that's the side of it. Alright, the next step, we're going to go and start working on the black post. These are the posts that actually lift your tent up. As you see, we have two holes left on our side hub. Lift one up. Shoot, uh, stick it in the, whichever one you want to. Don't matter. Lift it up. Then I can look down here toward my foot, and you'll see that peg. We gotta take the bottom end of this pole and stick it in that peg. And the best way I've seen to do this is to hold it with your foot. Get your bag, stick it in there. Don't clip it yet. Don't put the clips on it. Just kind of stand it up where it balances. There you go. There's another one that goes from here, that goes from here, down to here, but I'm gonna skip that. I'm only gonna do one on each hub. Stick it into your side hub. Hold the post with your foot. Find your peg. It's going to be down the line of these hooks. There's my peg. Put it in the bottom. There you Turn the tent to try to get it to balance. If it falls, that's okay. Now we're going to our next hub. Same thing. Lift her up. all these clips down. There's my peg. All right. Let's see if we can straighten this up a little bit. to the next one. And here we are on hub number five. Now what I'm doing is I'm walking around it and I'm trying to straighten the tent out to where it would stay up. Now, I'm going to 
start putting my clips on. Three clips right here. And just snap on. I'm gonna hold the top as I go around. You the same thing here. We'll start seeing the tent take shape. Sorry about the armpit in the video there. I've got the wrong size here. That's what that was. That's why it was doing that. So, so what I've done here is I had the black post on the wrong peg, so I'm going to have to move it from this back over to this side. That's why it was being aggravating. There we go. Now we got the right ones. start clipping these. Yeah, we call it other side. wind out here today. Got about 10 mile an hour wind. Uh, into the, the hole there. I'd have done a whole lot of less walking if I'd have took my post and put them around the tent before I started. Yeah, like so. Into my side hub. So 
Dad Next thing you want to do, I'm going to show the bottom here. Next thing we want to do, see how crinkled up that is? I'm going to grab each one of these and pull it out. Where that straightens up. Back out so you can see what I'm doing. This one right here, I need to pull it out. That way our tent can take shape be all spread out all the way around very nice pull our doormat out there it is doors already open the tent is up and she's looking good now of course the last thing you want to do is it comes with tent stakes. I'm not gonna be able to do it here because I have asphalt. I'm just doing this to show y'all how to set it up. But you have tent stakes, you wanna put them through here and stake your tent down. I usually use the, my heel and just push it down at an angle going in this way and make sure the hook grabs this and buries it. All the way around you do that That'll keep maybe four, uh, 40 mile an hour wind from taking your tent away. And it also has a cover that goes over the top. You also have these uh, tie down strings. You can take these and either stake them down or tie them off to uh, trees or whatever you have around your tent that you can tie it off to. Back on out. It's a six person lighted spear tent. I'll wait till it gets a little darker and I'll show you the light. But ladies and gentlemen, that is how you put the tent together. Let's go inside. pretty nice one other thing I left out when you do set up your tent you want to make sure um, you put it on the highest piece of ground in your area if you're renting a spot on the campground you want to put it in on the highest highest part of the the spot you rented you don't want it in a low part in case it rains and you know you don't want to go out and come back in your tent have water in it because you put it in a uh, floodplain and you also want to like I said you know uh, make sure the area is clean of debris or anything that might cut into the bottom of the tent and another major no-no I've heard of this happening quite a bit lately people setting their tents up next to unstable or rotten trees or trees with rotten branches like this would probably this is a good oak tree that I have here. But as you see, there's that big branch hanging right there. I would not want to put my tent under there and expect to sleep all night safely and a windstorm come up, drop that branch on my head while I'm asleep. So you want to keep out for that. Look up, look up above your tent, make sure there's no um, unstable branches or rock branches or anything that looks suspicious. You, you don't want to you don't want nowhere near that keep your ground clean check above look for anything that could fall on your tent that you don't want to fall on it make sure you put it in a safe spot on the highest grade on your campsite and happy camping